Welcome to the second half of Kids Community Connections 103.1. I'm Phyllis Jones, still your host, and we're still talking to Tony about the Annihilator Walk Run October 1st. And when we left, the question was, is he going to offer a challenge? Because, you know, we got bike clubs, we got car clubs who say the community involved. We have fraternities and sororities who, again, again, say <laughs> they're involved. So, uh, I mean, we're ready for the challenge. Okay, we'll, we'll, we'll lay, <laughs> let's lay down the gauntlet. Yeah, I, you know, I, I'm a member of Cap Alpha Soft Turn Incorporated, uh, yo noobs, <laughs> and uh, and so I'll do this. Let, let's do this. Let's challenge everybody, um, all of these, you know, fraternities, sororities, junior league, churches, bike clubs, um, car clubs, car clubs. Mm -hmm. Any of you guys that you can get your members to register. We'll have a special uh, prize for the winning uh, organization that has the most members to register. We'll have a special prize for the winning organization. And if they just go to racewire.com, all of our information there, they can register there. They can email us at the Annihilator Running Club at gmail.com, the Annihilator Running Club at gmail.com. But all of this is on www.racewire.com. Um, and they can go to that website. And they can tell us how they're interested in volunteering. If they can't do the run or if they can't do the walk and they just want to volunteer, they can um, go to that website. They can dial us at 737-333-0512. But to the club that has the most members that run, we're going to give a special prize to that club. Whether it's the fraternity, sorority, the junior league, or your local church or bike club or car club, we'd love to have you. Let's see if you're willing to do it. And for the people who say, I just want to donate, I want to see which we'll do a second prize. We'll do a prize for the one uh, organization that raises the most money. And we'll include members that from your organization that are walking and running. We'll add that into your tally. But for the organization that raises the most money or have the members that raise the most money or gives the biggest donation to help support this cause, then we'll have a prize for you as well. See, that's what you got to do. <laughs> People understand that. <laughs> but lay down the gauntlet yeah. on it. Because <laughs> you, you, know, you know how things go. If you say, I'm going to challenge you, they're going to, oh, wait, my holy. No, he didn't. Yeah, that's true. Because if the Omegas, <laughs> the Omegas and the Alpha start saying, hey, we're going to have more people running this race for childhood <laughs> cancer, to fight childhood cancer for McLean's Children's Hospital, then, okay, well, then how come the, the cap of is course because you don't put it on my facebook i'm, I'm yeah. putting the challenge on my facebook oh, please page. do please do you know i like challenging people <laughs> i do because i love a challenge yeah it's not a good fun but you're right <laughs> the esprit de corps would be great to have them out and, and, and to the military members yeah. you know uh everybody can use this code to register on racewire.com use this discount code ashley like ashley furniture but ashley as the discount code and you can get this great offer and save a lot of money but then you should still donate. They could donate uh, whatever else you want to above uh, and beyond the registration for the race. So we don't have a limit on what you can donate. And if you want, and even if you're not uh, uh, tech savvy or if you don't have the ability um, to register on your phone or your iPad or your uh, digital device, you can come up and register in person on September 30th while we're there at Ashley Furniture from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. Or you can just call us and say, I have questions I want to donate i don't know how but 737-333-0512 that's 737-333-0512 we answer that phone day and night after 10 o'clock we're not answering it but you can even leave us a voicemail message we accept text messages on that line for the uh, now later running club and we'll get back with you uh, as quickly as possible but if you if they go to racewire.com and they want to uh, look up our information to uh, submit their volunteer information, we'll, we'll be happy to help that. But that gauntlet is laid down and uh, bifurcated in uh, two prongs. First, to the um, uh, the fraternities, sororities, junior, uh, junior league churches, bike clubs and car clubs, uh, for them to have the most members present. Uh, and then to the ones who raise the most money. So uh, that there's that gauntlet to that. So thank you for reminding me. Oh to do wait, that. and you, you're a lawyer, right? Yes, ma'am. Lawyers need to come out too. Oh, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> yes. It, we don't need the lawyers and doctors come if they can just send their money. <laughs> okay, send your money. Show up and send your money. Yes, ma'am. And you can go home. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> yes, ma 
because I'm, I'm gonna just be. I'm gonna just say this because I've never seen a healthy lawyer that can run. Oh, I'm gonna just say it. I've never seen a lawyer that's healthy enough to run. Oh, yeah. I, I'm just saying that. I'm, I'm just saying that. <laughs> <laughs> All I see lawyers do is walk and read. I'm, I'm just saying. So there might be a lawyer that's healthy enough to run, but I don't see them. Well, down there at the University of Houston Law School, <laughs> I can show you a ton. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Okay, but for those who are, are just tuning in and trying to find out what the heck we're talking about, can you re recap what we're talking about? Yes, ma'am. The <laughs> annihilative childhood cancer is a uh, character and superhero that my son and I started to help fight childhood cancer for children. And family members are suffering from cancer. The mission of the uh, Annihilator Running Club and the Character of Childhood Cancer is to annihilate childhood cancer by raising money to support cancer research, children's hospitals, uh, cancer prevention, and early detection. Our vision is simple. It's to run a mile or more in the uh, shoes of the children and the family members that have been impacted by the effects of childhood cancer. And it's our mission and vision will be carried out through research, raising awareness and hosting events like this Texas Annihilator 5K. Again, our third year hosting the Texas Annihilator 5K here in Colleen, our first fourth race all overall. But the, th the difference between this organization that my son, who's our president, he's 14 years old, he's our president, and I'm the chairman. The, the difference between us as co-founders in this organization is 100% goes to the Children's Hospital that we partner with, which is McLean's Children's Hospital. That's owned by Baylor Scott White. You know, 100%. So there's no administrative marketing fees that come back to us. 100%. We have a great sponsor in Ashley Furniture of Colleen, www.colleenfurniture.com. Those guys over there are, are underwriting this. And or Miss um, Sandra and Miss Teresa are underwriting this in order to allow us to be able to put this uh, this great event on. Um, you know, it's September thirtieth uh, is our packet pickup for the pre-registration. They go online to racewire.com and register, and then their packet pickup where they pick up their shirt, the bib, uh, is on Friday, September thirtieth. And actual race day registration is sept uh, as October the first on race day from seven a.m. to eight. And they can always dial us uh, at 737-333-0512 for more questions. And you're also going to have vendors there. Yes, ma'am. We'll have... Uh, so does the, the vendors pay a fee? If, if they register based on this, this uh, listening to this show right. or based on 103.1, they can get a free vendor registration just by registering with you. Okay. Yes, Y'all heard that. Because I was going to say, if they pay a fee, their, their fee, they pay gold. <clears throat> to cancer yes to yes it would go to mclean's children's hospital as well so any donation Good. that our vendors would give right. it goes to mclean's children's okay. hospital that's important to know yes ma'am um, um, and the vendors can dial 737 uh if there are more vendors we, we welcome more vendors colleen community center uh just did a renovation yes they uh, did. that you know they put a lot of money into renovating mm -hmm. that place and it's fantastic mm -hmm. it's gorgeous i love the way central texas just growing leaps and bounds yeah, uh and and so they've spent a lot of money on it and it's time for us to enjoy and reap mm -hmm. the benefits of us as a community uh for everything that they put into right. uh, that building okay so central texas time to go yes, put your shoes on Get your, get your the right clothes on. And you're going to walk, run, dance, whatever, however you do it. You're going to show up ready to do something. If you only can volunteer, show up to volunteer. If you're going to, you know, be the water person, I guess, that carries the water to keep you from yeah, passing Yeah, we, we have two water stations. <laughs> so if, if, if one of those fraternities, churches, sororities, junior league, you know, or bike clubs or, or, or car clubs want to come out, they can do that. Yeah. They can uh, yeah. host our water station. Right. But those bikes and, and uh, bikes and car clubs, we really could use you mm -hmm. to help us uh, uh, monitor the safety of the route. Our safety is paramount. We have the streets blocked off. But generally, when you see those nice bikes yes. and those nice yes. cars, yes. they kind of help, you know, they, they save us money where we don't have to right. pay more to have security exactly. there. Uh, and, and, and they help uh, legitimize the race. We'd love to have you out there. As can, well. can, can we throw an extra, uh, an extra challenge out? Yeah, you can. Yes, ma'am. To the Nation of Islam. Oh, yes, ma'am. Any, come on any, out. Any, anybody who wants yeah, to come out. Come we, out too. Any religious affiliation, anybody. any church, any. any we don't we don't care uh yeah. what your religious affiliation we welcome everybody yeah because cancer everybody. has no religion either it does not have a religion no friends friends it has enemies yes all of, lots us, of those. <laughs> all of us are enemies of cancer it's a lot of those and also um 
I just like the saying that we say, so I'm going to say it the way I say it. Children are our today. People always say children are tomorrow. And they can't be our tomorrow because they're living today. Mm. Children of tomorrow haven't been born yet. Yes. So we can't talk about them. But the children are, are today. We need to support them. We need to help them and make them well. And let them lead. Yes. Train and, them yes, as to leaders. To lead the way. Yes. You know, because if we help them and if we help eradicate cancer from everybody, but especially our young people, later on when they grew up to take over, they will remember what was done for them and hopefully return what happened to them and the good that was done for them, they return it back. <clears throat> because the problem we have right now is some of the generations forgot to turn around and hand it back. They took the baton and they kept running with it. Well, our kids of today that are in McLean's Hospital, um, we need to let them know that we're here. We're gonna support you and help eradicate what's going on with you. Because we care. Because you are, our, like I said, I want everybody to stop saying children are tomorrow because they're living, so they are our today. Um, the kids of tomorrow haven't been born yet. And yeah, I'm, I think that that is a beautiful summation of exactly <laughs> what this is all about. You know, if you think about some of the childhood cancer statistics, where each year the parents of approximately 15,700 kids will hear the words, your child has cancer. Mm -hmm. Across all ages, ethnic groups, socioeconomics, this disease remains the number one cause of death by disease mm -hmm. in children. I mean, every day, mm -hmm. 43 children are diagnosed with cancers, 12% of the children diagnosed with the cancer do not survive. Children's cancer affects all ethnic gender, yeah. Socioeconomic groups, more than 40,000 children undergo treatment for cancer each year. And 60% of those children who survive suffer later effects such as infertility. Right. You know, so we talk about what you, what you said about children not being our future. There are today, yeah. it, it's incredibly uh, um, on point in that, you know, with, you know, 375,000 adults in America today are children uh, had childhood cancer. And that equates to about one in 530 of people that are age 20 to 39. These statistics are staggering mm -hmm. if we start looking at it. Imagine this, 15,000 families right. will hear the words, over 15,000, mm -hmm. almost 16,000 families will hear the words, your child has cancer. You know what brings me another question? It's one I know you can't answer, so that leads me to investigate that answer. Our kids that are in the hospital um, battling cancer, they're in the hospital for some time. Mm. <clears throat> They're missing school. Mm. So I want to know what, how to partner some educators oh, yes. with those kids in the hospital. That's what my, that would be great. Because there's got to be a way to partner that. Yes, ma'am. Th there has to be. There is no no to that one. Yes, ma'am. So I <laughs> would take on that challenge to find out how do we partner with Scott and White to get some educators to do some lessons for those kids. Oh, Miss Jones, that because be they're wonderful. losing twice. Yes, ma'am. They're losing because they have cancer. We don't need them to also to lose education. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. So that's something I'll, I'll look into as to how we can make those two friends. Yes, ma'am. So that they are sitting there, not you know, <clears throat> you're you're not you're missing. Yes, or either way, we can bring webinar school a webinar mm. and bring school to them. Some kind of way we could bring school to them to where they're. Not laying there just thinking about, oh my God, you actually think you got to do some homework. <laughs> you know, oh, yeah. you got to read something, you got to study. <laughs> yes, you know, that, that takes your mind off what's going on. And yes, it also indeed. lets you still be a part of what's going on. Indeed. So yes, that you don't drop back into fifth grade three times. Yes, ma'am. Because you were out being sick. Okay. It'll let you come back to school at whatever time and be just like everybody else. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> yes, ma'am. So I'm gonna I'm gonna see how we can link that together. Okay. Because I know it's a possibility. You just gotta explore it and find out how to do it. Yes, ma'am. So that's been something I'll link out and do. That's gonna be wonderful. Yeah. I, that'd be a great ministry to uptake. Yeah. Yes, ma'am. So I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna do that. But I want to thank you for coming on this morning. Yes, ma'am. Miss Jones, and, thank you. <laughs> and, and talking to us and yes, letting us know where we will be uh, next Saturday morning. Yes, ma'am. Ready. Yes, ma'am. Awake. <laughs> <laughs>
Yes. You know, even come if you're not awake. I don't care. Yeah, <laughs> but, yeah you, know, you can sleepwalk in it. <laughs> and the challenge is out there. So, you know, go to my Facebook, Phyllis Jones, and you know I'm a challenger. I'm, I'm going to throw challenges out there just crazy because uh, I know some people who uh, talk it. Now I'm going to see Saturday if you walk it. Oh, that's great. <laughs> and, and, you know, if not, I'm going to bust you out. <laughs> I have no problems with that. <laughs> I have no problem. And I don't know what the word no means. I don't know what can't means. No one's ever defined them to me. Yes, ma'am. And I'm going to stay there. <laughs> yeah. like, so anybody who says I can't, I don't, I don't know what that means. Yes, ma'am. But I'm glad you're doing what you're doing. Um, and you, I'm glad that you're going to continue what you're doing. Yes, ma'am. And it's going to continue in Colleen. Yes, ma'am. And it's continue everywhere else you've started it yes, at. Yes, ma'am. Because um, organizations are in all, you know, there's no such thing as an organization can only be in one place. Yes, ma'am. That doesn't exist. It only exists if the person doesn't open up and say, yeah, we can. Yes, you know, so you've just said, yes, we can. Yes, we can. So we know, yes, we will. <laughs> <laughs> yes, but like, and I'm, and I'm your son. He's an awesome person that we need to talk to him. Oh, definitely. In fact, I'm gonna say this. You can go. What? We should talk to him instead of you. <laughs> yes. No, I, I'll say reason being yeah. is because of his age. Yes, ma'am. It, it's his age. Young people, we need to highlight them more than we do adults. Yes, ma'am. We do. We really do. We need to highlight them because other young people who want to do something need to hear from someone else who's doing something to know that I can. Yeah, we need to get him to we need to get him to the show. <clears throat> so I, I need to bring him on the show. I'm gonna do I'll do a young people show. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> and and invite him and uh they can all talk about what they do. Yes, ma'am. Because we have some young kids who've written books. Oh yeah. We've got some young people who've done a lot of things and you know, they do them and we don't bring them up. Yeah. And to me we need to always make sure that they are there. Yes, ma'am. Uh, more than we are. <clears throat> because that's how uh, we're supposed to do things. Yes, but I want to thank everyone for listening to Kiss Community Connection this morning. <clears throat> I want you to always remember, you cannot lead a positive life with a negative mind. We'll talk to you next Sunday. Bye now. <laughs>